camera to back it up with you. Alright, so I'm Erica. We are Team Choice. Is that what we're going with? We're Team Choice. Um, we have Terrence, Brittany, and Cody also working on this team. We made a board game called The Life of Joe. You'll know the E is in parentheses because we don't know if Joe is male or female. It's up to you to decide. Um, the basic premise of this game is it's a three player game. It's made for exactly three players, which as those of you who are in game design know, is kind of hard to balance. And I'm not sure this is entirely 100% balanced yet, but we're getting close. What's that? Well, I, I just assigned a three player game. Oh, okay. Sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> um, so, uh, <laughs> so anyway, the basic premise here is that this is three kind of competing lifestyles that compete for kind of control of the body. One lifestyle is very, um, I just want to do what feels good right now, I want to have a good time, and I don't care about the consequences. One lifestyle is very, very health conscious, and the other lifestyle is kind of a middle ground. Um, and they both kind of have different powers and different effects. Let me show you, I have it up here. So this is the board. Um, we have, they're going to play on a board that's slightly less cool than this because we didn't get a chance to get this printed out all nice. But as you can see, there's a middle track that goes down the middle. Those are where the life and death um, tokens basically are going to move back and forth. And the track that kind of zigzags across is the track the players move across. I realize this probably doesn't make immediate sense right now, but board games, they make way more sense when you see them in action than when you just see all the pieces. I just kind of want to show you some of those real quick. Um, we also have, um, there are also a number of cards in this game. Again, I won't show you them all, but they did a nice job of actually making them all up, so I kind of want to at least show that they exist. Um, some of them have amusing anecdotes on them. Uh, some of them we didn't get that far, so they just tell you what to do. Um, stay up 48 hours. <laughs> um, yeah, red ones don't have a lot of names. Uh, bad health can. We're, we're still the fun with self-prescribed medicine. Um, poison. Very health free. Uh, mainstream medicine, mad cow disease, heart disease, swimming pool, chicken soup, chicken pox, bird flu, uh, these are all the backers for the cards. There are, there are four different colors. There's a yellow card, a blue card, a red card, and a green card. And um, they all serve different purposes. Green cards are kind of, they just are like an outside influence. Red cards generally benefit the middle of the ground player. Uh, blue cards generally benefit the free-for-all lifestyle player. And the yellow cards generally benefit the life player or the healthy lifestyle player. These are some chits that are used to mark things on the board. Um, hopefully we'll get to a round when they use them. <coughs> the games where the life player has antibodies they can deploy. The, the free lifestyle has diseases they can deploy. And the middle player, the ground player, has viruses, which in our world can be either good or bad. They can be helpful viruses or harmful viruses. I don't know if that exists in real life, but in our game world it does. What's that bacteria, right? They can be helpful or uh, we've got some fun diseases. These are things that can be affected with. And these are our basic players up here. Middle of the road. The death player is our free lifestyle player, and the life player is our healthy lifestyle player. So these guys are going to play through a round real quickly, hopefully in less than three minutes. And, uh, and then we will, um, so you can get a little bit of a feel. And if anybody wants to see it more closely, we have, we'll put a video. I think there's going to be a video that gets put up and all that good stuff, too. Yes. So the first thing you do is you roll a d12, and that d12 determines your pulse for that round. Multiply it by 10, so I have a pulse of 60, 30, and 30. You guys are nearly dead. <laughs> We're all off to see who gets to go back. Go two and a three. <laughs> the lowest rolling player goes first, because they have the least amount of actions they can take. First thing that happened, we'll flip an event card. This one is chemotherapy. <laughs> a good player loses two antibodies, and it also destroys two possible diseases. From the death player. Right. And now you're gonna you're gonna take an action, and you are playing the middle of the road player. You must move to a square and then draw a card based on your pulse. If you have higher pulse, you get to do more actions because your heart is working harder. So actions are you can move your player piece along the zigzag. You can deploy your antibody virus or um, death token. Yes. I know we get to one of those. 
or you can uh, draw a card from whichever pile you're on, your player token is on. Move to a blue square, flip over a blue card. Smoking. <laughs> Take up smoking. Death advances one per turn. Place so. of death. Yeah, place of thing of death. You see, there's death down. Somewhere. There you there. go. <laughs> it's the black butterfly of death. The light butterfly on the other side of the track. Here there. is life. And there's three zones on the board. The red zone, the blue zone, and the yellow zone. If life, the game ends when life meets death. <laughs> so the whole point of the game is trying to kill Joe, whoever he or she may be. If death wins out, the death will happen in the blue zone. If life wins out, it will happen in the yellow zone. And if the middle of the road player wins, then happens death happens in the middle. In one of those on the red. No. On the red zone. So the whole game is this constant battle between life and death and the choices you make that either speed up death or lengthen life. So that's our game. Woo! Woo!